Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am Tierica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today I'm introducing two women who are experiencing the benefits of a relationship style that should be the standard. These women are happily involved in loving female-led relationships, relationships that empower women. What would it be like to have a husband whose priority in life is to ensure that you win at everything? Ladies, tell us all about it. Hi, my name is Heather Wilson, and I'm the CEO and founder of the Brand Strategy Tank, a brand agency that helps companies to elevate their people stories and leads them to success by doing so. And I wouldn't be where I am today or have my company without my amazing husband who every step of the way in our relationship has supported all of my dreams, all of my goals, and my career ambitions, really. I was walking home from the farmer's market, and I needed to stop by to pick up some cupcakes for a girlfriend's surprise party. And I see this very handsome man standing outside, looking like he's waiting on someone. And I don't know what bravery came over me. I approached him and I did see he had a tattoo of an anchor on his arm. And I said, you get stood up sailor. And he kind of laughed and explained to me that his um, colleague got stuck on the ship and he was going to pick something up for him. And I said, well, I'm going to go inside and have some tea if you'd like some. And he joined me. He had coffee. I had tea and that turned into an 11 hour date and a 10-year marriage. He is a man that believes that women don't have to follow, that they are to be elevated. Hi, I'm Lucia, and I am a vice president for UN Women USA, a law professor, and the author of For the Forces of Good, The Superpower of Everyday Negotiation. And I would not be the full, complete person that I am without being married to what I refer to as a God wandering among mere mortals, my husband. I am an alpha female, I'm very alpha. I actually need a man who is more alpha than I am, but who also lets me be alpha. So that's a little bit of a tightrope walk. And he has just always been pitch perfect about that. He's a listener. He deeply listens. And he has a very high emotional quotient too. So he will draw connections and he'll see things that I ha I'm not able to see because I'm, I'm in it. And he'll say, do you see how that from last year and this, do you see how that's all lining up now? And that's maybe why you're reacting. And I'm like, oh snap. No, I did not see that. Cause like, he's paying attention. He's paying attention. And I am always his first priority. If I am in any degree of distress, whether it's my laptop froze or, you know, a kid is in trouble and needs us to pick him up. He, he drops everything. He will drop everything for me. I always know I am his number one priority. There are things that we are all good at and there are things that we are more strongly suited toward. And in my relationship, I'm strongly suited toward leading and that is completely okay with my husband because he's a secure man and he's secure in himself and he's secure in us and so that's what leading with love is for us it's saying i love us and uh so much that i want to lead us into even more great things here are my ideas here are the things that i'm good at here are the things that i'm stronger at doing and some of the things that he's better and stronger at doing is how he is supporting me to make these things happen for us. And when I was writing my book and I was totally possessed in the writing process and he would work all day, there was no dinner. He'd come down and there was no dinner made. So he would, he would just start cooking. He would make dinner. He would put a plate down next to me and I would say, I'm writing. And he would just plant a kiss on my forehead and go watch the news or whatever, because he understood I was in my process. And he just needed to be there and support me. And I don't think I would be me without him. I would not be this fully flourishing, badass, 
global woman leader if it wasn't for him. I, I, I settled in my life in the past because I thought, well, I don't deserve more than this or uh, something. Like I um, just had to accept whatever was given to me and be grateful. And I was wrong. I could, I could have more. I could have someone who frankly just worships me. Because I am so invested that there's really nothing that I won't do for him and for us. And that is because he is elevating me and you know, believing in me sometimes when I don't even believe in myself. And um, it's just the core of who he is. My husband is a servant husband. And I think often we think of the word servant and we think beneath. Um, but there's servant leadership, and I'm his servant leader, and he's servant husband. And that just means that he is happy in service to me as his wife, and I am happy in service to him as a loving leader of our relationship. And that's an incredibly gratifying thing as a woman. It's incredibly empowering. And um, again, I get to live this every day. It's hot, okay? I'm here to say it is sexy. We have a man who is all in and supporting a powerful alpha female. You don't have to conform to traditional gender roles in relationships. If you are a powerful woman and you want a relationship that honors who you really are, join the community of women and men who want to empower you at Loving FLR. Dot com. Welcome to the fight. Welcome to the fight. Here we go. Welcome to the fight. News for women. <laughs>